then uh, today we are going to discuss about actually uh, students that uh, we are going to discuss about uh, 2019 uh, level paper and uh, here we are required to discuss that mean how to prepare the final account final account so we can say that uh, financial statement financial uh, statement statements of uh, single owner business single owner business that means that is the uh, final part of the uh, all level syllabus right so it's very easy so you are required to identify uh, certain important points then it's very easy to prepare the final accounts or otherwise we are saying uh, financial statement for the single owner business right so here i have uh, got the question from uh, 2019 all uh, level paper and uh, here you can see that uh, we are having that mean uh, they are giving the relevant details for the uh, sunkers retail business so that means single owner business and as at 31st of march uh, sorry 31st of december 2018 right so there are some items are available right so then uh, now we can prepare the answer right so there are some points that you are required to consider when you are preparing the final accounts or financial statement for the single owner business right first of all you are required to consider about the requirement requirements so the first requirement is you can see that uh, the statement of profit to loss and statement of profit to loss for the year ended 31st of march 2018 and then they are asking about the statement of financial position so normally the statement of uh, profit to loss profit to loss mean is normally in generally we are saying that profit profit to loss statement statement and here statement of financial position means normally in generally we are saying balance sheet balance sheet but uh, these names statement of profit to loss and statement of uh, financial position these uh, names are coming with the development of new standard that means when we are preparing the financial statement always we are using lks1 standard this lks1 standard says that okay so the technical name for the profit to loss statement is statement of profit to loss and uh, the technical name for the balance sheet is statement of financial position that mean uh, when you are preparing your financial statement of course you are required to use the technical name right so that is the first point first point then of course uh, you are required to identify that mean again there is a specific structure specific structure so before moving to the structure first of all when you are doing some sort of uh, when you are preparing some sort of uh, calculation first of all you are required to identify the accounting period accounting period accounting period is the most important one first point accounting period right so normally uh, they are required to prepare the relevant financial statement at the end of the accounting period so here you can see both statements are required to prepare uh, as at 31st of uh, december 2018 therefore you can identify accounting period end is uh, 2018 31st of december and you can see that then you you are identifying that normally financial accounts prepared on annual basis therefore accounting period uh, accounting period opening date is uh, generally 2018 1st of january so you are required to identify these two uh, before moving to the preparation of financial statement first of all you are required to identify the opening date then you are required to identify the closing date so here we have identified okay our period opening date is 2018 1st of january accounting uh, account period closing date is uh, 31st of december 2018 right so then uh, we can move to this uh, preparation part right okay so again i am going to give uh, some tip that's mean uh, second tip that's mean when you are preparing this financial statement first of all you are required to consider about the additional information that's mean 
first of all that means the first step is you are required to look at the requirements then you are required to identify the accounting period when you are moving to the preparation part that means preparation of financial statement then you are required to consider about these additional information firstly first of all you are required to consider about the additional information additional information right so then uh, yeah so here uh, then we can uh, prepare the relevant structure relevant structure relevant structure for the account relevant structure for the account right so then normally when we are preparing the statement of financial position and statement of profit to loss again that standard lks1 lks1 standard is explaining some sort of uh, the structure first of all we can draw that structure right but again uh, it's not compulsory to prepare the financial statement that means based on those regulation because this is a single loaner business but when it comes to the companies company accounts so you are required it's compulsory to comply with these rules and regulation but when you are writing your answers in the examination also you are required to follow this structure right so first of all uh, we can draw our uh, statement of uh, profit to loss statement of profit to loss we can draw like this right then uh, then uh, you are required to uh, write here then you are required to write here first uh, you are required to write the business name here the business name is sankar's retail business sankar sankar retail business retail business right so then uh, you are required to write again the relevant uh, date and the name of the financial state name of the financial statement you can write out then here uh, business business and then uh, you are required to you are going to prepare the statement of profit to loss statement of profit to loss for the year ended year ended 31st of december 31st of December uh, 2000 2018 right so likewise uh, you are going to prepare the relevant accounts 31st of December 2000 uh, uh, 18 2018 then uh, there is a that mean we have identify our business structure that mean uh, every account there is a specific structure so first of all we are required to write the business name then we are required to write that uh, account name and the relevant dates and uh, here you can see that uh, we can find out the relevant uh, account name and the uh, date by consider about the requirement so here you can see the same thing you are required to write on here when you are preparing the financial account right so then you are required to draw a statement of financial position statement of financial position here you can draw statement of financial position here again you are required to write sankar sankar's retail business then uh, statement of financial position uh, as at 31st of December 2018 2018 then uh, you can prepare account like this right then uh, yeah. right then uh, quickly we can move to this uh, Summation. First of all, you are required to consider about the non-current assets. Then you are required to consider about the current assets. 
then you are required to consider about the total asset and then you can get the total on here and uh, then you are required to consider about these uh, equity values and then uh, non-current liabilities non-current uh, liabilities and current liabilities so these are the parts that mean again uh, we'll discuss these parts more detail wise right so don't worry about any kind of uh, equation then uh, again we can get the total here we can get the total uh, equity and uh, liability right then uh, we can directly move to the our uh, question question so i have uh, explained some point that's been uh, here right. here i have mentioned that first of all that's mean again there is a specific structure here when it comes to these uh, sankar's uh, profit toll of statement we are required to identify again structure we have draw the structure for the statement of financial position right so here first we are required to get the sales amount then it's minus by cost of sales then we are getting the gross profit and then uh, plus other income income then minus uh, admin expenses expenses and uh, minus distribution expenses expenses and finance expenses and uh, other expenses then you can have profit net profit right so this is the structure for the uh, uh, profit toll of state it's very easy you are required to identify the sales figure then cost of sales gross profit other income administrative expenses and uh, distribution finance and other expenses so in order to get the relevant value uh, so we can uh, prepare some sort of pre-working that mean uh, here we can identify the relevant expenses so here there are uh, four kinds of expenses right so likewise here admin here distribution here finance here other expenses right pre-working pre-working so that means final amount directly we can put into this uh, statement of profit total final amount final amount we can directly put so at the same time in order to calculate the cost of sales again we are required to have some sort of free work free working number two uh, cost of sales cost of sales when we are calculating the cost of sales again there is an equation that equation is uh, opening stock plus purchases then from the total you are required to divide the closing stock so uh, then uh, you can get the cost of sales value right so that is this is the free working number two that's 